Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Warwick and you're watching Gas Tax. Today, we are gonna be removing some more parts on the R32 so I can get it ready for the ice racing season. But first, I have a couple things I need to take care of on my truck. See, towing season for the boat is done. Need to replace that big hitch with uh, a backup light. Love this thing. I have a long driveway here. It's pitch black at night. I back up and normally park backed in. And then I also broke this cap. So I need to replace this cap real quick. This is for the ladder system. Uh, so let's jump into it so we can start working on the R32. And now on to replacing the cap. Just like that, all fixed. All right, so guys, Ford's done, change of plans. I'm gonna wash my winter wheels. I haven't washed them yet. I literally just bought them, used set of wheels. Uh, I've got these tires put on, but they are looking pretty dirty. And since, if you can tell, it's a somewhat warmer day in Chicago, I don't know how many of these days we have left. I wanna quickly wash those. I'm gonna lay them out here, just wash them quick, uh, so I can get working on the car. Jumping on to the teardown of the R32. Uh, I'm gonna take out the headlights today. I'm gonna take the front bumper off. Um, I might take these front fenders off. The reason for that is when I work on fixing this rust, and here, I think it might just be easier, probably wrong, but it might be easier just to work on the table. Um, so I'm going to take those off and it will probably make life easier when I do the, the front service uh, change. Again, this front fender. I don't necessarily need to take the front bumper off. Uh, so I probably won't. And then what I will do, I think, is take these uh, seats out so I can start vacuuming out the interior and seeing what I'm working with. So let's jump right into it. All right, well, front bump is off. Apparently you have to take the bumper off to get the lights out, so that worked. Um, there were about two screws, two to four screws holding the bumper on. So, I would assume someone's been in here before. Uh, also, a nice drywall screw. Another one. I know that's factory direct. Uh, I am seeing some loose bolts here. Oh, here's one. Let's get that baby tightened up. Uh, my battery is disconnected in case I hit something and the airbag goes off. So. Okay, well that's tightened. 
I was pretty loose. I'm looking to see what uh, what else I can see while I'm in here. Uh, yeah, well the lights, these were off, so I'm sure water got in there. Um, this is the good light-ish, but you can see it's dirty in there because this was off. I don't really, this is a hella light. I think the stock lights were hella lights. Uh, I don't really want to order, yeah, two lights if I don't have to. Uh, but this lens is toast. If I can get this part number off, I'll order another one of these. See if I can get inside there, because that was open, and clean out the dirt. It looks like there was a wheel well in here, stock, that's missing. So I need to find that. If you guys know where I can find that, that would be great. Alright, so front off, on to the next thing. Super long and I have four houses that back up to my driveway and apparently every single one of their landscape is is there it sounds like uh, World War three outside but anyway so uh, what I have here is it looks like somebody uh, enjoyed this car by uh, taking it I don't know on a rally or something because there was sand all behind this fender here I vacuumed that out there was sand in the air box. Here's the air filter. Pretty dirty. Um, I decided to take the air filter out now because I ordered a short shifting kit and you gotta take it out anyway to get in there. That looks relatively new. Maybe there's a short shifting kit on there already. Who knows? Um, but yeah, that's where I stand. So, front fender is off. Um, bumper off. Air box out. I'm gonna tape up the intake there so nothing gets in there. Uh, I'm gonna leave the rear rear bumper on right now. I think there's no reason to take it off. I'm gonna work on taking these mirrors off because they are broken and I got replacements. And go from there. Two off. I don't know if you remember from the video uh, of everything wrong with my R32, but I said this mirror doesn't work. Well, it's not gonna work because these are the wires that go to here, and somebody cut them. Lots of random stuff in here too. Uh, anyways, these screws were completely different to those screws. Uh, so that's fun. Hopefully I didn't dismantle it through the door there. It seems connected. But anyways, yeah. So I want this mirror to work with the motor. So I will have to figure out how to order that. But yeah, the story continues. out is commencing pulling out most of the dashboard here I'm going to have to uh, make this call that anyone would oh, never buy a car that the person has put a, a sound system in because every single panel is ripped off and broken I'm sure some of you guys are like no shit, but you know this is what it is. Uh, everything is made or ripped apart to get this big ass uh, subwoofer wire. Um, part of me wants to keep it there, but 
because it's already fed through the back, but there's no chance in hell. I'm keeping that. That thing destroyed this car. So, when you're looking for a car, if someone say, yeah, I used to have a sound system, or you see all the wires in the back, uh, do not buy it if you don't want to work. I bought this car because I wanted a project. Uh, definitely got a project, all right. Um, but yeah, so we're still ripping out the interior. Well guys, interior for the most part is out. That under under the dash is all gone. Seats are gone, center console's gone, back seats are gone. Uh, I need to hook the jumper pack up to the car to open the oh my god, I can't even do that. Oh I can. Alright, so to open the rear, I have to hook up the control for the door. Should have thought about this, huh? Uh, then I gotta hook a jumper pack up, then I gotta hit that button, then I can open this, because I don't have a key for this and it doesn't it doesn't work. So let's jump into that. A few moments later. Well that worked. Jumper pack, battery. <laughs> door panel with controls. Trunk is open. This is something I purchased, but I'm going to remove it so I can get all this other crap out. Just so you guys can see what I'm working with. Look at all the wires. It clearly was another guy that had a sound system in here. Uh, that had a different cable to ground. Yeah, there's just crap everywhere. Um, oh my god, what is this? Is this it as well? Anyways, I'm gonna try to pull all that out now. Um, if anyone knows what was in here, it says sound, so I assume there was a, a stock sub back here. If anyone knows, let me know. That'd be great. Thanks. Well guys, I think I am uh, officially done. Uh, let me show you around. Um, all the excess wires out of the trunk. I don't know if I'm just gonna take those back seats out yet. There's no reason to. Um, all the other interior is out. So yeah, that's what we're working with. So it looked like there were three different sound systems in this car during its uh, life. I think, I can't remember, I'll do a Carfax history of this car later, because I did do that before I bought it. There's either seven or nine uh, owners to this car. And clearly three of them liked sound systems. The car sounded pretty good. Well, the sound system sounded pretty good when I was just driving around, you know, lately. I just, I never had a subwoofer. These look to be updated and the tweeters look to be updated. I haven't ripped out the back panels yet. Um, I suppose I need to do that because I have a roll cage coming in. But anyways, lots of owners on this car, lots of issues with this car. That's just the wire I pulled out. And then there was a couple more um, that were cut off and pulled out before. So that is where all the, the panel clips are broken. So hopefully I can fix some of them, replace some panels. Right now I know I have to replace the center console, the whole basic area front and back of the center console. Uh, I need to get this radio out. I know radios have a tool. I'm gonna throw this thing away anyway. Uh, contemplating what radio I wanna get back. We'll get to the stock radio or uh, wireless Apple CarPlay. I'm leaning towards wireless Apple CarPlay, but 
that's damn near the cost of the car. So right now I obviously have no walk around space. So I'm going to clean the garage up, figure out where I can store things for now. Um, throw some things away, figure out what I can throw away and go from there. Hopefully I don't close the trunk by mistake. I probably won't. Uh, because then I have to do that whole battery shenanigans. But thanks a lot for tuning in. Uh, as you can see, there's a lot of work ahead, but I don't know. Maybe I'm getting ahead of myself. It seems like it's going to be relatively easy. Uh, obviously, tearing out anything is easier than putting something back. But I, I don't know. That's just me. You can uh, all prove me wrong later. I haven't jumped into anything with the engine other than removing the airbox because it was loose. This bolt was missing. Uh, so I figured I'll just remove it because I need to put on my short shifter. But yeah, guys, if you haven't followed me on Instagram, please do that. It's uh, at gas tax. I post daily videos about what I'm doing here, random different car things that you won't see on uh, YouTube and vice versa. Uh, there's stuff on YouTube you won't see on Insta, stuff on Insta you won't see on YouTube. So, be sure to follow me on those platforms. Uh, let me know if you have any questions about this build. Let me know if you see something that I haven't pointed out and haven't noticed that you think I'm going to be screwed or, or something. Um, but yeah, this is the start to my winter ice racing machine. And it just got 200 pounds lighter. Until next time. Thanks a lot.